Hi everyone and welcome back to Henrix Restorations. Today we are on a mission with my small kids. They're gonna help me with this one. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> hey, nu är vi på dagens program av bilar. Choo! I've got my tiny helpers with me to get these cars out of the barn because I'm trying to sell that old Range Rover and also the orange one in the other side of the barn. So we're gonna try to uh, get a battery in this car, make sure it has some fuel and then try to start her up and then reverse her out on the field. And then we're gonna try to get the Range Rover going and uh, do the same thing, get out on the field and then we'll try to wash them off a little bit. So yeah, let's get to it. I'm gonna put the Better in here. We got so much bird poo all over this place. There we go. We have the positive terminal. Om du tar nummer 13, har du en sån nummer 13 i fickan kanske? Thank you. Vill du komma på? Sen får jag prova. Så skruv på den där. Ska vi skruva på precis. Och nej, ditåt. Och så får man ta bort och skruva en gång till. Och bara får man gå på på en del Ja, det går bra. Okej, okay, there we go. So now we also have the, the car key. We have the battery in. So let's see if we can get it to run. There we go. Let's see if it will start. I think we have fuel. There we go. Let's see if we can get some ignition. Ignition, oil, we got some fuel. Almost. The clutch is very precise. The brakes is a little bit stuck. There we go. Okay, there we go guys. We got the Ford out on the field. It's not that nice at the moment. Oh, it's very windy. I don't know if the mic will pick it up. Pick it up. Uh, full of bird shit. But we got the one car out and now it's the next one. So we're just gonna remove the car battery from this one that we just put in and put it into Range Rover instead and see if we can get that to fire up and drive it outside. There we go. The battery is in. It's the 1977. The race letters. Uh, got some Frankenstein headlights in the grill. Not too fancy, but otherwise it's all original. Very dirty. Proper barn find. It has become a proper barn find, standing in my property. This can be a really cool car if you just do some rust treatment and then get it to work. The camera flew away uh, due to some wind. I'm just gonna try to fill this tire up. It has was completely flat, one and a half bar, maybe it's enough. That's good for now, so we can at least drive it outside. 
There we go. And let's see the other side as well. Now we have the car outside that was standing here. So now it's empty and they are over there instead. So windy. Worst day ever to fix this with the big barn doors that can flap around and destroy half the barn. So we have the car outside now and it's uh, kind of filthy as you can see. We're gonna try to fix her up a little bit. I'm gonna tape this window because this just sunk down and then you need to wind it up and it crashes down. So I'm gonna tape this around the, the frame of the door but on top of it, oh, got a beer, nice. On top here we have uh, some bird poo and then we have some old stickers from an, uh, like a it's an imitation of an elk footprint on the hood here. <laughs> Awful. And then I'm gonna clean out some of the interior. I have some interior for Hubbe laying in the trunk. Uh, and we're just gonna tidy it up a little bit so it looks good when the uh, potential buyers come in tomorrow. Uh, and looking at her. I'm gonna crack my beer and then spray her down with first some water and then we're gonna add some degreaser and so on. And as always, I got my favorite brand, Tearshine, uh, with their awesome products. Uh, they have a bunch of products that is super good for the cars. And I see a lot of cars here in Sweden with the Tearshine stickers on their car. So I think they are selling quite a lot these days. But even though you're not located in Sweden, uh, take a look at Tearshine. Their website is really cool. They do some great content on Instagram, Snapchat and so on. Yeah, really cool company and good products. But yeah. Let's get going. that you can look at from a distance 
it looks pretty nice. This 77 Range Rover. Oh wow. Okay. Let's see if we can use some material to get rid of those stickers before we wash the car. I know this is maybe isn't the correct way, but I just use some thinner. Get rid of those glue that is still on the car. You can see this is kind of nice, but this in between not so nice. Very rough surface. But at least we get the old glue off the car. Better? Better. You're not you when you're hungry. So we're just gonna add some shampoo. Uh, it's enough with just a, a bottle <coughs> or a cap of the <coughs> shampoo. Uh, I'm just gonna clean off a little bit quickly, not too much of a hustle, uh, but just get some shampoo on the car. Let's see, bloop, bloop. Ah, maybe not that good. This is not a detail, this is just to get a potential buyer sort of interested in the car. Uh, get some stuff off the car. Uh, maybe be a little bit more interested if it looks decent instead of a typical barn find that I'm interested in. I'm not doing the two bucket system, I'm just going by one bucket today. Don't care. now so I'll just use the tear shine and refract ceramic quick coat uh, it's wet just spray it on and we'll give them a good protection and the water will come off very easily so just ch -ch 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 -ch. Okay guys, we have now cleaned the car and it looks much, much better than before. Uh, so this would probably be a good uh, initiative for me to get the car moving on to another owner. I'll just clean the inside a little bit. Uh, we can take a quick look. Probably a little bit of wet here and there. As you can see, this is, this is parts for Hubba that is in a garage that I'll just get out and then I will just, yeah. I don't know, throw some stuff away that are not necessary in here. Uh, maybe wipe off the windows a little bit to make sure it's not too wet in the car. 
and then on the front here you can see there's some water on the floor that is run in there's a little bit of water here and there but otherwise pretty solid uh, so just clean out a little bit and that will be it and then I'd do something with the other car before I go to bed tonight so it's ready for tomorrow when the potential buyer is coming over to see them but it looks good I need to get the work done on the 1984 so I can get it running and get the metal work done and everything so I someday can be able to drive it because these are I don't know I'm in love with these cars look at that beauty Okay, but that's it for today. I cleaned the Range Rover pretty good, so hopefully you will find a new home tomorrow. Otherwise, I will keep it in the barn until uh, I have time for it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, click like, and leave a comment. I answer all the comments that you leave. So, uh, yeah, have a nice one. Ciao.